Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from Lightsail VR. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image overlay that you can place on top of your cameras in Unreal. In this example, I'm showing a composition guide for IMAX film, but this could also be a photograph or sketch or storyboard, really anything that you need to overlay on top of your camera. And essentially, no matter how you move your camera, it's going to stay right in front of it. This should be a very simple thing to do, but in Unreal, of course, it takes Oh, quite a few steps, so let's just jump in. Okay, so this is my reference image. The first thing we're going to do is right click, we're going to create a new material. I'm going to call this PPM underscore overlay. PPM stands for post process material. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to double click on this. And there's a few things we need to do to set this up. So, with this selected, we need to come down here and change our material domain to be post-process, and then we need to change the blend mode to translucent if we need uh, opacity, if we need the alpha. And right now I can't change it. Why it isn't default, I don't know, but if you search here for alpha, you can choose to output alpha, and now we can see we have options here. So we're going to change this to translucent. This is if you want, if you have a transparent overlay that you need to add. If you don't have a transparent overlay, then you can skip this, everything we plug into the opacity. So I'm going to drag in my reference image. And in here, we are going to right click and search for scene texture. On the left side over here, we're going to change this to be post process input zero. Then we're going to add a lerp. The shortcut for that is just hold down L on your keyboard and then left click. So you have this lerp here. So I'm going to do color into A and then RGBA into B. And it needs to be RGBA because it needs a 4 instead of 3. So we're going to keep that that way. And then I'm going to plug this into emissive color. Now you can see we have an overlay. And we're going to right click on this and promote to parameter. And we'll call this opacity. And now if we did this correct, 1 should be fully opaque and 0 should be uh, invisible and 0.5 is probably a good parameter here. So over here on the left we can change this to be slider max 1, slider min 0, and default value uh, we'll put 0.5 for now. Now to get the opacity what we need to do is right click, search for mask, and you have this component mask, and then if you click this you can see which ones we want to choose. We're going to choose alpha, we're going to take the alpha of our texture sample and then we're going to go out to the opacity. So now we have uh, this all set up correctly and I'm going to go ahead and save. Now I'm going to right click on this post process material and I'm going to create a material instance and for now I'm just going to keep it like that. Now if you double click on this you can change the opacity of that image mask or the image overlay. And so now what you have to do is go to your camera that you want to add the overlay to <clears throat> and if you search for post pro matte you'll get this post process matte material and this array. You press plus to add the array and then select asset reference and then search for this overlay instance. So I'm going to search for overlay underscore inst and select that. And now you can see in our camera that our overlay is active. Now it may you may not see this, but on mine I can tell that it is stretched, and that's because this particular camera, this particular overlay is expecting an IMAX format and a 4 by 1.43 uh, aspect ratio. So if I can, I can go ahead and change the film back to be custom 
and for now I'll just rough this in so that my uh, so that my aspect ratio is about 143 and now I can see that that does look uh, more or less correct. So if you have a 16 by 9 overlay it's important that your camera aspect ratio is also 16 by 9 otherwise your overlay will be stretched so just keep that in mind. And now um, there's a few different ways you could adjust this. Um, so if you again if you go in here you can look up post pro mat and you can turn this off here by just going down to zero. Um, the other thing you could do is in the overlay instance you could also just turn this down or turn it up as needed but now you can see that you have your image overlay perfectly on top of your camera and if I move this or rotate or if I put this in sequencer this overlay is going to stay persistent which is exactly what I wanted it to do. I hope this tutorial was helpful make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.